We talked in class recently about inserting links to other websites or web pages in our blog post. It's a great way to be able to share information with your readers without having to actually put all the information in the blog post. You can just simply give them a little link that takes them somewhere else where they can learn more about what you're talking about. So I, I've made a, a new blog post called Creator Lake Webcams. You can see that right here. And I've just written a very short little paragraph here talking about the web cameras that Creator Lake National Park has for us to be able to see the lake and see the visitor center and some of the roads there. It's a nice way to get a, a look at the park before we actually visit. Since our class is planning a field trip, it seems like a very appropriate sort of a thing for us to look at. So you can see my last sentence, check out the cameras by following this link, link Crater Lake Webcams. I have in a different tab here the website that I want my readers to go to. So all I'm going to do is come up here to the address uh, window, the URL. I'm going to select it and then I'm on a Windows machine, so I will right-click and copy. If you're on a Macintosh, uh, then you can use your uh, uh, Command-C to do the same thing. So I've copied that address. I'm going to come back here to my blog post, and I'm going to highlight the words that I want to turn into the link. So I've highlighted those. Now if you look in the window, or your blog editing window here, you can see that there's something that sort of looks like three links of chain together. And when I hover there, it says Insert or Edit Link. I'm going to click on that. I have to make sure I've highlighted what I want to turn into the link. Click that, and I'm going to paste in, I'll delete that, and then paste in my address. Now there's another option here, I don't worry about the title, but uh, there's another option here that says open link in a new window or tab. I select that because I want to be able to have readers keep my blog post open, but then go visit the new window as well, so they actually have two different windows open. It's just the way I like to do it. You can do it either way. I click on add link, and then uh, you can see that this has turned blue and there's a line underneath it. That tells me it's an active link. So once I publish my post, and of course if you're a student you'll have to wait for uh, your teacher to approve it, um, now I can see that there's my Critalic webcam ready to go. Now if I click on it to test the link, it should take me to the webcam page, and it sure does. So there you go. It's a pretty simple process. Whenever you have information you'd like to give to your blog readers, but you don't really want to have to type it all in, you can insert a link to a different website and have them go there and visit it to get the other information. Hopefully you've learned how to do this now. It's a pretty simple process. Give it a try.